Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thursday has a die graph. I'll bet you already were looking at that. Alrighty, let's start our morning with our message. April 16th, 2020. Dear friends, today is Thursday. What will you do on this sunny day? When you go outside, you will need a jacket today. Love, Mrs. Jones. It got very cold out. 32 degrees. If I go down here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Today is the coldest day of our week so far. And in our message this morning, we've got some words with digraphs. We have Thursday. TH making the th. We have what? WH. W. We have when, W-H, W. And when we're hunting for snap words, can you find the word you more than once? I know you can. You, you. And how about the word on? There it is. Let's count some syllables. Let's count the syllables in sunny. Sunny. Two. Let's count the syllables in Thursday. Thursday. Two. Let's count the syllables in jacket. Jacket. Two. And I know some of my clever friends found the word jack built right into jacket, didn't you? Good work this morning. Alrighty, so today we're going to take a look at our digraphs and work a little bit more on our Friday fruit party. Lots to do today. Before we do, I'm going to pull our number grid up so that we can see that currently we are in the tricky teens for our month of April. So we are at April 16th. What number came before the 16th? 15. What number came after the 16th? 17. And when we're writing those digits, 15, 16, 17. The one stands for that one group of 10, and this stands for the ones that were left over that haven't made a group of 10 yet. Why did I use commas? Because I'm separating out the numbers. Right. So every day, thinking about our 10s, our 1s, our numbers, so many ways to make connections to math every single day. If we look at our digraphs today, As I locate them, they're hiding on me. Let's review. W H whistle w C K sock k T H thumb C H chin ch S H ship W H whistle this is a great one for us today because we hear it at the beginning of many question words. So when we're thinking about WH, we hear it at the beginning of the word why. Why. And why works like my. Sounds like an I, but it's really why. Why is a question word. When. W, w, starts with a W, H, W, E, E. When is another question word. Where, where, W, Air. we hear that noisy R with that quiet E. It's a question word. And another one might be what. 
What? So we've got our WH question words. Why, when, where, what. And we're going to use those words today to continue to get ready for our Friday fruit party if you're choosing to do one at home. So what does that mean? Well, whenever you have a party, you need to have an invitation. So I have created an invitation for you to see, just in case you are going to have a Friday fruit party. So here, the first part of my invitation says, I made it with bubble letters, come to my party. And I drew some pieces of fruit. It's not done yet. You probably know that. I'm going to pretty it up and color it in. Normally, as part of an invitation, we let people know some information to see if they can come. So we might let them know when the party is. And for me, my party is tomorrow. So I would write Friday, April 17th, 2020. Where is my party? My party is going to be in my family room. We're going to enjoy some fruit together as a family around our fire and we're going to have it in our family room. So I would write here, family room, why? And I would say, maybe I wanted to do something fun. If it was somebody's birthday, I might say, it is somebody's birthday, it is Dylan's birthday or Gary's birthday. So you're going to answer the questions here yourself, when, where, why, as part of your invitation. When is your party? If it's Friday, you would write Friday. Where is your party? If you're having yours in your kitchen or out on your porch, you would write where your party is. And why are you having it? Maybe you could just say, just for fun. I'm going to leave these up and I'll actually take a photo and put them on Seesaw just in case friends want to use them as part of their model for making their own invitation. But I know your ideas are usually so much better than mine that I look forward to hearing how your fruit party invitation is coming along. Okay. One more thing. Who does this go to? It goes to anyone that you invited to your party. So you would make an invitation, maybe for everyone, or one invitation, and make sure that everyone that's going to your party is aware of what's happening. You also could double check with friends or family members to see if they're able to come. And when someone's able to come to your party, it's a pretty fancy thing we do. We call it an RSVP. And they add those letters, R, S, V, P. And people either say yes, or they say no. So you could even include that. And that way, if someone can come to your party, they might circle yes or tally under yes, or if they can't make it, they might circle no or tally under no. Okay, so you get to go have fun with this. I know you've been invited to parties before, and now you get to organize your own party on a Friday. Well, with tomorrow being Friday, I look forward to seeing you. And until then, keep a picture in your pocket and a poem in your head, and I will do the same. Goodbye for now.